Hi everyone, welcome back to Marriott's Koi Pond. I thought I'd do a little video of what this Thermatec 9 kilowatt heater is costing me. Uh, I was prompted by, uh, after watching Simon from up north Koi Pond, he's just fitted his Thermatec to his pond and he's put a power meter on it, uh, seeing how much it's cost him. So it's prompted me to do the same. Uh, when I fitted this, I did in fact go out and buy a power meter but I mislaid it. Uh, anyway, I've hunted it down and fitted it, and it's Saturday today, and I fitted the power meter last Saturday, so uh, let's see what it's cost me. Probably had that power meter for about six months. And for the life of me, I thought it was in a white box uh, and I couldn't find it. I searched everywhere for it, just couldn't find it. Anyway, I found it in the end and it was in a grey box and it was right in front of my eyes all the time. But for some reason I was looking for, a, I don't know, <laughs> I just got confused. But anyway, uh, this has been running since last Saturday, so let's see what it's cost me. I don't know if you can pick that up there, seven at the bottom, been running for seven days. And there we are. That's what it's cost me for seven days. £4.66. Less than a fiver for seven days. And that's running a pond at 14 degrees. Now, I know it hasn't been cold this week, uh, you know, it's probably been staying at 3, 4 degrees at night. But even so, you know, to keep that at 13 degrees, I have got covers on my pond, as you know. £4.66, that's less than two pints of beer. So I'm well pleased with that. Chuffed to bits with that. While you're here guys, I thought we'd talk about this. I've just gone out and bought this uh, flapper one-way valve. Uh, last summer, I rerouted the uh, the pipe work coming out of my pressure pump. I rerouted it to the spray bar in the drum. And like a clown, I didn't think about it, but I've run the pipe underneath the lip. And if you can see it, I run it underneath the lip of that drum all the way to the spray bar. And of course, what I didn't realise is the water level in the drum is probably only that high. And obviously, as that filter screen gets blocked, the water drops even more. And as a consequence of that, this uh, that pressure pump is on a 14 second washing cycle. So now what's happening is over time, the water in that pipe is running backwards running backwards along towards back into the filter so the first two or three seconds of the washing cycle is taken up by that uh, pressure pump priming this pipe again what I should have done is I should have run it along here really I should have run along this top lip and then it would have only added like a I don't know, 9 inch, 12 inch rise to the spray bar, that's what I should have done. But anyway, what I've done is I've bought this, uh, this valve and I'm going to put this in line and I can't quite make up my mind whether to put it horizontally in there or to fit it vertically in there. I suppose really it makes sense to fit it vertically there Find out where the water find out where the water level is in this drum and fit it vertically in there so when the pump stops cycling the valve shuts and stops any water going back so this pipe this pipe should end up being full of water all the time. That's the theory anyway. Anyway, I'll get back to you after I've done it in the next video probably. So thanks for watching. 
please like and subscribe if you found it interesting and uh, see you next time thank you very much